Hello everyone, this is Haralambos Pissuros, senior analyst here at IronFX, bringing you the technical updates for the 11th of uh, July. Today I want to update the technical pictures of uh, Euro Dollar and Gold following the strong US employment report on Friday. So let's begin our treatment with uh, the Euro Dollar currency pair. Euro Dollar traded lower on Friday after the US employment report showed that the economy added uh, 287k jobs in uh, June. The pair fell below 110.30 for a while but failed to reach 109.70 and rebounded to hit resistance at 111.20. During the early European morning Monday, the pair slid again and is currently trading slightly below the 110.30 barrier. I still believe that the short term outlook is negative and uh, as a result I would expect the dip below 110.30 to challenge the 109.70 zone this time. Our short-term oscillators uh, detect negative momentum and corroborate somewhat my view. Both uh, the RSI and the MACD stand uh, within their bearish zones below their respective downside resistance lines. As for the bigger picture, although the short-term trend is uh, negative, as long as the pair is trading within the sideways range between 108 and 115, I would hold my flat stance with regards to the broader trend. Now let's continue with uh, the precious metal. Gold uh, slid following the much stronger than expected NFP figure. However, the metal triggered uh, some buy orders near the 1335 support line and rebounded to hit resistance once again slightly above the 1370 hurdle. On the 4 hour chart, the price action still suggests a short term uptrend, and uh, as a result, I would expect a clear break above 1370 to open the way for the 1390 territory defined by the peak of the 17th of March 2014. Nevertheless, our short-term oscillators support that another setback could be on the cards before the next uh, positive leg, perhaps uh, to challenge the 1350 support barrier. The RSI turned down from slightly below its uh, 70 line, while the MACD could also turn south from near its uh, trigger line. Switching to the daily chart, I see that the metal is trading above the uptrend line taken from back at the low of the 17th of uh, December. So, in my view, this keeps the longer term picture positive. So that's it for today. For more analysis and charts, please read the full comment on ironfx.com. You can also follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Harald Ambos Pissuros, senior analyst at IronFX, wishing you solid trading.